There's a couple other um, SQL parameters that you're probably going to want to use pretty frequently. Um, and we'll just go through those quickly right now. So we're building off of the same basic query that we wrote before to pull visits, transactions, and revenue um, by channel and date. Uh, so the first one is where. Um, and where is where we get into, <laughs> lack of a better term, where we get into conditions in SQL. So one thing we can do, we can see, so say we want all hits from where channel equals organic search. What I just said where channel equals organic search is exactly what we're going to type. You want to make sure that the the data type here matches up with the, the left side matches the right side. So this is a string. So then we need this in quotes. If this was a number, then we'd leave it not in quotes. But since it's a string, we're going to quote it. Um, so where channel equals organic search. Um, and we could do a couple of things. We could say your, your first condition is always aware, and then your second can be an and, or it can be, it can be an or. So we could say, or channel equals direct. Obviously, if we said and channel equals direct, um, that wouldn't make much sense because it can't be both. So let's say channel equals organic search or channel equals direct. Um, we could also do write this another way, we could say channel in uh, a list. So we could say organic search direct. That's probably the, the simplest way to, to accomplish that. Um, and then let's, let's order this in a certain way. So let's say order by um, transaction revenue descending. So you can, you can order by either ascending, which we'd have lowest revenue first, or descending with highest revenue first. Um, I don't use order by a ton in queries because generally, um, you know, I'm doing the ordering in like a visualization tool, say like Google Data Studio or something like that, where you can dynamically order. And the, the point of BigQuery is just to get your data in working order. Um, but if you do want to order by in queries, um, you know, we'll go in, into some more advanced queries later on that having order by knowledge um, within your query, like if you're looking at a window or something like that, can be helpful. Um, but for now, so let's run this query, command enter, or the run query button. Uh, oh, unrecognized name, channel. So let's see, if we're referencing that chat, that column in the where, then we have to use its proper name because it won't recognize that we renamed it yet. Let's run that again. Okay, cool. So now we see we have only um, organic search and direct because we have this this where statement here, where channel grouping in organic search direct, and then we've ordered this by transaction revenue. Looks like this is in um, uh, probably cents or something. <laughs> something uh, looks like we have about four extra zeros. Um, yeah, so that's in probably times 10,000 if it's like AdWords style revenue. But anyways, that's not dollars, obviously. That'd be a large transaction, what is that? It's like a billion dollar transaction, wow. Okay, but we have our we have that now ordered and descending, so we, we know how to write where, uh, conditionals, you could add an and, or you can, you can add an and, or, so if we wanted to have like, one equals two or three equals four, you know, you can always do that. So you can add any combination of logic, you know, it's very similar to um, like an if statement in, um, in Google Sheets and then order by, you can also add multiple columns. So if we wanted to order by revenue descending and then, um, you know, transactions descending, that would, this wouldn't make any sense for this data set, but we can add just comma separate um, the different order by statements that you want to add there. So that's really it for basic queries. Um, you're gonna, we'll, we'll get into more advanced stuff, but for a basic query like this, uh, you're gonna use select from where um, and maybe order by, and that's there's there's really not that much more to it.